There it is. There we go. All right. Welcome, everybody. All right. A few more housekeeping things. So besides uh, being muted and cameras off once we begin, just a reminder that about 10 minutes or so after we're finished, those of you that are virtual or brick and mortar picking up your students, you're going to be coming through the car loop, not the bus loop. Uh, you'll see cars going in the bus loop, but that's a kindergarten event, and we don't want to get you stuck in the kindergarten line. So please make sure you're in the car loop in the front of the school. If you are virtual, you are bringing your Chromebooks and your power cords, and you will be receiving your certificates. If you are brick and mortar and your parents are picking you up, so parents, if you're prick, uh, picking up your brick and mortar student in the car loop, please make sure you sign the sign out sheet with your teacher so we have a record of that. All right, so that's enough of housekeeping. We're going to go ahead and get started. Normally, we get to be face to face. Uh, I know Ms. Dequi and I were talking. We will be glad when these virtual meets are over and we are back face to face. But this is what we're going to do today so we can make sure that we send off our fifth graders onto middle school the best way possible. First of all, a big, big thank you to parents, students, and teachers for making it through a very, very difficult year. Uh, we know how difficult it's been, but without the support of each other, we would have never made it through. And boys and girls, even though it's been a crazy year, you're going to be stronger and more resilient moving forward the rest of your life with what we've gone through this past year. All right, boys and girls, these are kind of the little spiels, and some of you have siblings that have heard this before, and you so say your parents have heard this before, but I do want to talk to you a minute about going on to middle school next year. So many of you have been here six, seven years with us, and you're going to be taking a lot of life lessons along with you. Please remember to always, like we say, be the three, but remember to be kind. Think about actions, think about consequences, but more than anything, think about who you're choosing to be your friends. Your circle of friends are a big influence in your life. They can either support you and help you grow and be better, or they can bring you down where you're making bad choices and that can affect the rest of your life. So please choose your friends wisely. Make sure they are the type of people that push you to be your personal best and they're not influencing you or you're feeling pressure to do something that you know doesn't feel right in your gut. Parents, please, please, please know who your children's friends are during this time. This is a middle school time. This is the most changes that they're going to go through. Hormones are crazy and you need to know who their friends are and where they are at all times. I always tell the parents, this is not the time to be their best friend. This is the time to parent, maybe more than you did in elementary school, because they are looking for your guidance and support. And they will probably tell you that they don't like you at certain times, and that's okay. You'll know that you're doing a good job if they tell you they don't like you at certain times, because rules, boundaries uh, are all important during this time. And I always, another thing, you can be their friend when they're 21 and done with college you know, no longer when they need your support through education. Boys and girls, some of you are going to be taking high school courses in middle school. So you've got to really, really, really be trying your best because that is your GPA that's going to be used for high school graduation. That's what colleges and secondary schools look for when you are moving on. So please make sure if you're taking any high school courses that you really, really start off the beginning of the year paying attention and doing your personal best. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Last summer, we were all in quarantine, and when things opened up, it really didn't open up. We still were kind of stuck doing indoor things, not being able to be uh, in certain places, enjoying vacations. So I hope that each and every one of you experienced the things that we weren't able to last year. I think one of the life lessons that we've all taken from this past year is to not th take things for granted. We've learned that it's important to be able to see our friends, talk to our friends, uh, go to eat in a restaurant, um, you know, being able to enjoy outdoors as much as possible. All these things that we maybe in the past just thought, oh, this is the way it always is. When it was taken away for a little while, we all, again had to remember how important it is to have that back. So please make sure you enjoy every moment with your family and friends this summer. Get rejuvenated, get ready for middle school because you got a lot coming. And uh, parents, again, thank you for all your support this year. I know your teachers appreciated it. To Mr. Petridis and Mrs. Cornelius, 
fabulous teachers, boys and girls. I know you guys had a wonderful year with them. Uh, they had a lot of learning and probably challenges and hurdles that they had to come across this year too. And again, couldn't appreciate them more for getting through this difficult year. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to turn it over, first of all, to Mrs. Cornelius, and uh, she will give you instructions, and then we'll move on to Mr. Petridi's class. All right, enjoy. Okay, kids, as usual, you know I'm talking and I forgot to unmute. Well, actually, this time it's Mr. Patrice. <laughs> it's always my fault. Every time. It's always my fault without question. First of all, I just want to say thank you. Okay. Y'all have to excuse me and bear with me today, okay? It's an emotional moment. <laughs> thank you. All right. I'm good. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you all for your generosity and your support this year. We've always needed our parent support. And our, we've always needed your love and your caring, but this year has been even more so. Um, with all of the changes and, and, and all of the growing that we've done and the additions <laughs> to our, 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 I don't even know what to call it because, you know, Mr. Patrice, help me here. <laughs> um, our job description, our duties, our, 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 duties, our, our job our description. Survival. It was a crazy, but I will tell you, parents, your children were amazing. I'm talking in here, over there. You guys were amazing. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't think we would have survived especially me, because you know, every day I was doing something crazy on the meet, and, and every day I had to ask them, okay, so what do I need to do now? <laughs> they kept me abreast of everything. They kept me on top of everything. They worked hard. We worked them hard, but they did it, and, and they were willing to do it. You all have raised some amazing children, and it has been my pleasure and my honor to be able to work with them, to teach them, yes, to mother them at times, and yes, discipline them sometimes. But the moment they came to our room, they became our children and our babies. And we love them, <laughs> and we will always love them. I, I want to say to those of you who I have spent time with before, because I've had your your children, thank you. Thank you for letting me do it again. <laughs> and for one mom a third time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to spend time with your babies. Because now they're my babies forever. Uh, so excuse me if I'm emotional. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, this will be my last um, graduating, class. graduating class because next year I will be retiring. And, um, and I just want to thank you so much, so much. So, excuse me. Okay, I'm going to stop because I, I'm going to stop right now because, yeah, I can't hold it again. <laughs> but without further ado, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Without further ado, I would like to take this opportunity to wish my babies, my loves, my darlings, to wish you all the best as you move on to middle school. Now, you know Miss Cornelius, you know what she said. You got to think for yourselves, boys and girls. Don't let somebody else get into your brain. That's your brain. Don't let somebody else try and convince you of what you need to do. You know what you should and should not do. We have worked hard. I've preached a lot. <laughs> you guys know it because I want you to be the best of who you are. I will always, always, always love you. I will always, always, always remember you. Hopefully you'll come by or, or send some shout outs to, to me next year because you are amazing. There's not one student in these classrooms, not one that doesn't have the highest potential to reach whatever it is you want to do. 
Don't you ever forget that Miss Cornelius told you. You are amazing. You are the best. You can do whatever you want to do. And don't you let anybody tell you anything less than that. I love you guys. And so with that, I'm going to present my certificate. Uh, and just so you know, if they're virtual, we want to announce you because then the whole class wants to wave to you. And we will see you at the parent uh, parade uh, immediately following where we can give you your certificate in person and say a proper goodbye. We are going to be able to shake the hands of the people present, but just so you know, there's a big bottle of antibacterial <laughs> right on my desk. So as soon as that happens, they'll be able to score it up, okay? okay? And we will put the metal on them at the same time. And if they're virtual, we'll just. I'm just, we're just saying that. Uh, oh, this, uh, oh, okay, this baby right here, I've had, okay, sisters, and she's been a, with me for a long time, even when she was little and in drama, and I have to say goodbye to the whole family, and that's Miss Peyton Bonta. I love you, kid. <laughs> Congratulations. All righty. And this one kept me on my toes the whole year. Oh, my God. I love you, Abigail Campbell. <laughs> Kept me on my toes, and I can tell you I'm so proud of the growth that you have made this year. I, you are amazing. Good job, Abigail. Here's another one of my babies. Oh, my gosh. Oh, another one of my babies, and this is my drama baby. Oh, goodness, my babies. <laughs> Now listen here, young lady, you make sure that you read over the summer. <laughs> you are an amazing young lady. I want you to know that. And I love you. And I know that you're going to do some amazing things. And I hope to hear about everything that you do when you move on. Oh, tell your sister I said she needs to make sure she's taking care of you. <laughs> Jay carries. <laughs> Congratulations, Jay. All right, for our first individual here at Equestrian Trails Elementary, I would like to call up Azalee Castro. <laughs> Turn around, face the camera. You gotta think, you gotta Let the world see how pretty you are today. <laughs> there you go. I think, don't you cry. You're going to make me cry. I, guess no. got I know. Let me put the metal on you as well so everybody sees it. There you go. All right. This young lady has also shown a lot of growth this year. And she kept me on track. I tell you what, parents, your children kept Miss Cornelius on track this year. Made sure that I was uh, uh, had my mask on and made sure that um, uh, I had I, I had my announcements or whatever it is that I needed to have. She she, <laughs> she kept me on my toes as Jersey Clark. <laughs> I know I want to hug you so bad. Congratulations. Thank you. Sure. Hands up. 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 Uh, Mr. Cooper, I think if you could mute Mr. Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which all of the week uh, and has just, and also, you know, you, you, your your children are so caring because whenever it seemed as though I was upset, he would just come over and walk over to me. Are you okay, Miss Cornelius? Yes, yes, Andrew, I'm okay. Andrew Darnell. Tell you I want to talk to you, baby. 
I want to hug my belly and just hug my baby. Woo! Talk about growth this year. I tell you, at the beginning of the school year, we I, I, was, I said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work this little man, and I'm going to work him hard. But I didn't have to. He did it himself. He pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed. Anytime he needed to ask questions, he asked questions. He kept me on my toes by making sure that he was pushing. Say, Go, Andrew. I <laughs> and I want to congratulate this amazing growth. And that is Christian Ellison. Your family's proud of you. Right. Here's another one of the babies. Okay. This is the one that's the baby of the family that was has been here since kindergarten. Since kindergarten, we've had him running around. And his mom's been here and she's uh sub with us and he has done such a fabulous job this year and that I mean up the money. Thank you. Woo! And another one of the babies. Oh, I tell you, I had a lot of babies this year, parents. Oh, you gave me your children a second time, a third time. I love you, parents, for doing that. Here's another one of the babies that come up, and I remember seeing him when he was a little fella. Yes, and has also done an amazing job this year. And that is Darren Matthew. Thank you. He never, he never got mad because I called him his brother's name. <laughs> this is a sweetheart that we have here this year. Very quiet, very reserved, very strong, but always doing the right thing. And I always appreciate her for that. And she's worked very, very hard this year. I want to thank you so much for being who you are, Anaya Mendez. Oh, oh, another one of my drama babies. I'm so proud of this young lady because I tell you, the, such talent, this talent that she has, and a very bright young lady. It was I was so glad to have her in my class this year, and I want to thank mom for letting her be in my class this year. My heart, Amira Newell. This young lady is a very quiet, you. very quiet, very quiet young lady. But she was a very hard worker. And what I'm telling you, I was so proud of the accomplishments that she made this year, that she did this year. Wait, okay. And I want to just congratulate her for just for just doing all going all out and excelling in every area that she uh, pursued this year, and that is Gila Pacheco. Oh boy, this is another baby, <laughs> another baby. Uh, that's why this part this year is so hard for me. All these babies that, are, that came to me this year. This young man, never a dull moment, <laughs> never a dull moment with him. But he's a hard worker, I can say that. And he has done very well this year. But I tell you, I'll miss him <laughs> because there'll never be somebody sitting there on the side happy so that I can make sure I don't miss him. And I want to congratulate <laughs> his laughing, Adrian Sandoval. Yay, AJ! <laughs> Never <a> dull moment. <laughs> this young man will ask me questions and ask me questions and 
ask questions. And you know what? I appreciate that because he always wanted to know if he was doing the right thing. Am I doing the right thing? Is this what I need? Can you explain that to me, Ms. Cornelius? And that's the kind of student you always want. Sometimes I will think, okay, turn it, turn it off. I don't, get, we're good, we're good. I, okay, I got you, I got you. And he would always, always, always set his standards because that's where I set their standards. I set their standards high, and he did nothing but step up to those, those the high standards, the expectations that I set for him. And this year, I have to say, Joshua Saunders, you kept me on my toes with your young man. Oh, my tech guru. This young lady at the beginning of the school year, and this is before she came to school because she came back here. At the beginning of the school year when we were all on virtual, she made sure I knew exactly what I needed to do. I tell you, I actually have two tech gurus, but this was my first tech guru when we were on. I should have several tech gurus. And, but this young lady, <laughs> she kept me going. And she would stop me. She would say, Miss Chris, you need to do this, you need to do this, and you need to do this. And I will tell you, thank you so much, April Schumer. I keep checking along. And this young man also a hard worker. Uh, well, I tell you what, though, he's a hard player too. <laughs> he, when I'm telling you we're out of recess, he makes it serious. And that's Dominic Stable. Okay. All right. This young lady came to us late in the year quiet you didn't hear very much from her in the classroom but boy when she was outside she made her presence known <laughs> but i will tell you this is another person that when i was when i when i felt a little down she would say miss cornelia play your ghost song <laughs> it's i'm good and there's a song called i'm good i'm good and she would say miss cornelia Turn on you, I'm good. I turn on I'm good. And I turn on the music and it make me feel better. I thank you so much. And me on you a good girl. <laughs> See, they're already singing it right now. <laughs> I know you want to help me. <laughs> it had to have the parents. You have to be okay with that. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, another bright and shining star. This young lady always wanted to make sure she was doing the right thing at all times. Thank you very much for working so hard. You did such an amazing job. Excellent work. She was another one that kept me on my toes, but she always wanted to know, am I doing the right thing? Should I do this? Should I do that? She never stopped until she made sure she knew what she was supposed to do. And I think, and because of that, she did an excellent job this year. And I want to thank you, Mariella Trotman, for doing such an amazing job this year. Is she Hello, <laughs> okay, this young man, he is going to be an athlete, guys. Look for this name somewhere. He's going to be an athlete, very bright young man. He is going to be, I'm telling you, an athlete, and uh, I want to thank him. Uh, as the year came, uh, went on, he, he, he got into the groove, and he worked hard, and he accomplished some good some good things in, in this year, and, I, and that's Timothy Villalondo. Ah, there's another athlete, smart, very bright. Um, always, again, always asking the questions. This is something that teachers always like to have. The student that says, "Is this? What do I need to do?" I can't. And, and unfortunately, 
as the year came on, when they were coming back, I had to keep moving them closer and closer to the air conditioner. He had to sit back in the back by the air conditioner. He could hardly hear anything I was saying. And he would raise his hand and say, Mr. Cornelius, what did you say? I'm, what do you mean? Were you not listening? I can't hear the air conditioner is on. But he did a really good job. He, he, he was a real trooper. He did everything he was supposed to do. I'm so proud of him. And that I will I will give my name for him, his name on his certificate is Herschel Williamson. I call him JW. Thank you, Miss Jay All right. This young lady is going to be a star one day. I know she's going to show up in a movie or on television or somewhere. <laughs> I want to thank you very much, ma'am, for working hard, for doing what you needed to do. I mean, sometimes it might have been a little late submitted, but you got it there anyway. And I want to thank you for that. For all of my students, I want to give this last student here, Riley Zuli. Julie, you may see her somewhere in the in the stars because um, already this year she's uh, made that trip. So hey, I'm looking forward to it. Just make sure if it's going to be on stage, make sure that I have tickets to the front, sitting next to your parents or something, or maybe down somewhere. If it's going to be uh, on a movie set. Can I can I can I come and see you? That's all I want to know. Thank you very much, everyone. Yes, thank you, thank you, Riley. Thank you. There's so much more I can say about the other students, but this is not my turn now. It's Mr. Petrini's turn. All right, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my turn to take over. It's hard to follow that act. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the best I can before they get the hook and pull me off. Um, I'm going to say most of my comments in the front end because really I, what I want to say is about both groups and every kid that we had this year. Uh, you know, I sent a message in their mind several days ago telling the parents individually how much we appreciated your help and support and, 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 and everything you did for us this year. There is no possible way. You've heard it from Mrs. Johnson. You've heard it from Mrs. Cornelius, and You've heard it from me now. There's no possible way that we could have done this without the support of the families and the parents. Whether you were virtual or in person, you guys made this uh, possible. So we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It is a team effort here. And again, parents, you guys are those, you got, you're, the, you're, the, you're the superstars behind the scenes keeping things moving when they're not here in class. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. But now I want to thank the real people we're here to celebrate today, which are the students. And if we think about how resilient these kids are, you know, they're in fourth grade thinking everything's good. They get towards the end of the year and all of a sudden COVID occurs. And of course, we have to do some shifting. Uh, the world changed instantly. And for adults, you know, we're, we're more uh, adept. We're, you know, we're more prepared to, to handle life's uh, changes. But as a child, they don't have the experience, the life tools, the things that we have in our toolbox to be able to shift gears like that. And I'm telling you, they handle it with such grace. And which and with just such integrity I, I'm, I'm so blown away and i'm in awe of the kids that that we have this year whether you're at home virtually seeing us across the computer or if you're in our classroom every day poking us with pencils and throwing erasers at us we appreciate you appreciate each and every one because i'm telling you it's the kids that make this work when it got difficult for us as teachers when it got challenging with all the new technology, with all the new requirements, with all the protocols, with all the COVID crazy chaos, the kids gave us a reason every day to wake up and come to work. They are the reason that we do what we do. And I can't stress enough that everything we're here for today and everything we've done for the last year is for them. And as a man who's getting close to the, to the older part of my years, as my wife would say, she's ready to put me out on the curb, but I don't think they, the guys want me. They're gonna keep throwing me back in the back into the house. I am confident that our world is gonna be taken over by a group of people who have skills that we never had when we were their age. 
not just, I'm not talking about just technology and the tools they have, but the empathy, the, the connection. These kids that we have this year are amazing. It's going to be, and I said this in the message the other day, it's going to truly be a difficult, difficult day saying goodbye to these groups. Yep. Because in our world, we're a family. We are a unit. You'll notice we never talk about Ms. Cornelius' homeroom or my homeroom. We just talk about our kids. So a lot of times kids don't even know who their homeroom teacher is. <laughs> if you're in virtual, some of you are in my homeroom, some are in Cornelius' homeroom, but you've never heard us say homeroom because we're a team. We're team pet corn, right? So it's going to be very difficult saying goodbye to these kids. It's, I'm just in a, an, an amazement and awe, and I know they're going to do some incredibly amazing things. And before I, before I move on, Mrs. Cornelius and I speak from the heart when we say, we want to know what's going on in your lives going forward. Reach out to us. Talk to us. Tell us what's happening in middle school. What's happening in high school? Where are you going to college? We get invited to graduation. I just told Mrs. Cornelius three days ago I got invited to a wedding. Two students in my class in the year 2001, 2001, two students in my class, a boy and a girl, are getting married. Two of my ex-students. And they invited me to the wedding. And I'm going <laughs> because I'm part of your lives. Not, I'm just not your fifth grade teacher. I am an extended member of your family. Because family is not always who you're born with. It's who you choose. So keep us aware. Tell us what's happening. Tell us the good things. Keep, you know, keep us motivated. And if things are tough, reach out to us and let us help you through the tough times too. We're there for that as well. So from the bottom of our hearts, we want to say to you, to all the students in the classroom, to all the students out there, thank you. Thank you. And with that, we will begin the, uh, the process. So who's first up? Oh. We would like to call up first, Preston, come on up, man. Preston, For those of you parents that don't know, yesterday's activities, one of them was where you send in a baby picture and we look at everybody's baby picture. And some of them, and the kids made me do it and present it so they saw me sweat and struggle with it because they wanted to need know how I did. Preston's I got like that. He has a smile that it hasn't changed since the day he's born. Preston, congratulations, my friend. What do you do? Next is a young man who is virtual, but he is still uh, an amazing part of our class. Donovan Davilmar, always, always a pleasure. Great job, Donovan. This is yours, and hopefully we see you at the parent pickup shortly. Congratulations, Donovan. Next young man, he's been uh, making fun of me for years because I'm an FSU graduate, and he, and he unfortunately, well, it's, you know, uh, sometimes people make mistakes, but he's a University of Miami fan, and we give it back and forth to each other. And I noticed in the card that he wrote me yesterday, instead of the word you, Y-O-U, he wrote a big U, like the <laughs> University of Miami. So I know deep in my heart he's really a Seminoles fan. Come on up, Colton. What did you say? Go no? All right, good job. <laughs> I knew I'd convert him. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Next young lady, always a pleasure, hard worker, and such a joy to have in our class, Alyssa Eichmiller. You guys wave here. Look, look, look turn around, wave. Everybody say hi. This is your time to shine. When you come up, don't be afraid to hog the camera. Oh, and I want to say one more side thing, and I know that Ms. Cornelius will echo what I'm about to say. As an elementary school teacher, it is unnatural for us not to want to hug somebody. Right. And we're fighting every one of our instincts not, not, not to grab hold of these kids and, and, and envelop them in a hug. Just know that we want to, um, and, and, and we know we can't, but it's just understand that's how important and how much we value them. So. Uh, it's, it, you'll see us sometimes go, oh, no, yeah, maybe that's your. <laughs> anyway, the next young man, always, always the life of the party, dinner and a show, Asiel Guerrero. Hey, that's for you, Asiel. I saw you on that. I see you right there, buddy. Give me a high five. There you go. You got it. 
Next young lady, always a pleasure to have. Another one keeps me on my toes and a hard worker, Avery Hamilton. Congratulations, Avery. Oh, this young man, uh, sometimes he taught me. So <laughs> I got to watch out for this guy. He's, he, he's definitely going places. Vivon James. <laughs> Be fun. <laughs> you know those guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got me going. Yeah, you know them. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, this young lady was a welcome addition to our class uh, in the middle of the year, and she was a valued member of our group. We're so glad she came to us. And she came from came to us from out of the state. Sienna Kasabah. She's not with us today, but we'll hopefully see her after the ceremony. Next young man, always, always, always a pleasure to have in class, this young man. Always to talk about a genuine kind heart. This is the kind of guy who, uh, who's, uh, this is the one few guys who I say as my daughter gets older, yeah, you might, ha you might have my permission to talk to one boy. It might be this kid. <laughs> Michael Keehan. <laughs> hey, man. Congrats, Michael. Khakis are blue. Look at you. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, thank you, Mom. You can wear it. Say thank you. <laughs> the next young lady is a virtual student. Again, a hard worker. My virtual kids were so awesome. I mean, Sometimes it's so easy for you not to be actively engaged, but they were so great this year. Uh, I'd like to present this to Leah Nunez. Leah, Leah, Leah. Hopefully we'll see you after that car ceremony. That's for Leah. Okay. Next one's also a virtual young man. Uh, always a pleasure. Sent me a really nice picture yesterday, maybe online. I appreciated that. That was Franz Pierre. Congratulations, Franz. I see you. Don't look at you. Keep a smile. He's like, wait, was that me? All right, the next young lady, uh, boy, you talk about an athlete too. I wouldn't want to get in her way on a volleyball court. Casey Riggin. Casey Riggin, come on up. Uh, this next young man, we actually had a sister last year, which was a benefit for us, because that means we suckered his mom into being a room parent two years in a row. Uh, he's moving on to middle school, but we're hoping we can talk mom into staying for a third year. I don't know. Uh, usually presidents get four-year terms, so we'll yeah, take it one year at a time. Yeah. But always an amazing young man. What a pleasure to have in class. John J.P. Riley. <laughs> Wait Next young lady, one of my virtual students, always, always, and this is without exaggeration, the first one to log on to me every morning and the last one to log off. You talk about dedication. You look in the dictionary under dedication, you will see this young lady's picture. Tyler Ritter. That's for you, Tyler. See you soon. Oh, this young man, always a smile. This is another one in the baby contest. You just you couldn't you knew exactly who it was. Another, another exceptional young man. We've been so gifted this year with some amazing young men and women. Aiden Shepherd, come on up. Congratulations. And we share, uh, we're both Disney files. We're huge Disney fans, so. We got that going for us. Along with Colton. Yep, along with Colton. This young lady, always a pleasure, always has a smile and a uh, and, and, and a song in her heart. Mackenzie Shoplin. There you go. Congratulations. And I know she's got a cap and gown on. She's working it. She's ready to go. Look at her. So proud of you. Great job. Next young man started off virtual, and when he came to the class, I was so glad because I really got to know him so much more when he came to class. And uh, what a pleasure to have in the room, and just a joy. Evan Sierra, I'm glad that you're here today. This 
Yeah. Oh, he's all, he's all red. Next young man is also a virtual student, but a hard worker. Another one is that always oh, doing the right thing and making sure that they're on the ball. Alvin Thomas, great job this year, Alvin. Good job, buddy. Now we have twins. Okay. So, Aubrey, I need you to close your ears for a second. Okay, Abby, Abby, look at Aubrey. Is she closing her ears? Okay. Abby. Okay, I have twins, Tortoras. Abigail Tortora and Abby Tortora. And I always say the Tortoras torture me. It's an inside joke. But, Abby, I want you to know, don't tell your sister, okay? But you're my favorite twin. Okay, Abby, I see you. Don't tell Aubrey, but you're my favorite twin. But don't tell her. It's our secret, okay? All right, we got it good. Love these girls. Always got me uh, with a smile on my face. Abigail Tortora, there you go. Congratulations. I hope to see you after the ceremony. All right, I'm back. Okay, Abby T, I need you to close your ears. Abby, I'm looking at you. Close, cover your ears, earmuffs, earmuffs. Okay, good. Now, Aubrey. Aubrey, don't tell your sister, but Aubrey, you're my favorite twin. Do not tell, do not tell Abby, but I want you to know that's our thing, Aubrey. Me and you, me, you're my favorite twin. Don't tell Abby though, it's our secret, okay? Awesome. Aubrey Tortora, also there. Congratulations. It was such a pleasure to have uh, both of those members. I would always joke I was lucky. I, I got a two for one with them, and it, it was tw it was twice the fun. And then we have another one who uh, we have taught, this is multiple siblings. And this young lady, uh, what a joy, and I can't tell you what a pleasure it was to have her in our class. Uh, Madison Yacoboni, what a class What a class Yeah, Madison. Go, baby! Go, Madison! Love you, Love you baby! Love you. Love you, girl. And we had the pleasure of having her older sister, and we could join. And I'd like to recognize one other person who's not even in the United States right now. Yeah. Sophia, I see you. Sophia Sija. We see you. Now, Sophia had to leave the country yesterday. Her family was flying out um, because, you know, obviously reservations are made long before they change the school calendars, unfortunately. Well, we had her brother last year. What a pleasure. They moved into the United States. And I'm telling you, what, what a gift to have this family. And Sophia... You're joining us. Where are you right now, Sophia? Are you already in in Europe? Uh, yes, I'm in the airport in Spain. In Spain, airport in Spain. And there's the there's the beauty of virtual learning. That is one of the benefits, that she can join us from the other side of the planet and participate. We went ahead and gave her her certificate and her medal and her awards before she left because we wanted to do that in person. But we're so glad that you joined us uh, digitally. Um, and it's it's a pleasure to see your face. And I hope I hope that you had safe travels. Thank you. Now we just have one more thing, uh, and then we'll, and then we'll uh, then we'll move then we'll, we'll end up today. Again, what a joy and pleasure! Thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to teach your children. It is definitely, definitely something that that, that this is our life. This is, we do this because it's a passion for us, and these kids are our future, and they are our family. And that being said, Mrs. Cornelius and I, she has something that she would like to read you. What she's about to read you has been printed beautifully on cardstock, and Mrs. Cornelius has provided it for every student to bring home, whether you're virtual or brick. But we want to read this to you, and then we'll close up shop. So, Mrs. Uh, Cornelius, if you would share the message. If I cannot cry, I'll be all right. <laughs> From my heart. I'm always giving my kids advice and always telling them things to help them move on in their life, not just for – I don't teach you just for fifth grade. I teach you for the rest of your life. And so this is from Ms. Patricia's and I, from my heart to yours. May you always remember you are never too old to learn because when you stop learning, you stop living. May you never follow the crowd because half the time the crowd doesn't even know where it's going. May you listen to your heart and not just your head. Because your heart will tell you the truth. 
May you never let other people's opinion of you be your truth. For you must know who you are and that you have worth and value. And your life is worth living. From our heart to yours. Thank you, parents. Thank you, students. We love you forever. Thank you, everybody. We're going to sign off. We hope to see you. We're going to out in the car loop by 1045. That gives you about 15 minutes. About 1045, we'll head out there, and we hope to see your shining faces. Bring your Chromebooks, and we have some gifts for you. Mrs. Johnson, I don't know if you have any closing comments. I just wanted to say uh, thank you again to everyone. I wish you well. Um, have a fantastic summer. And again, we are always here for you if you need anything, parents and students. <laughs> hey guys, if you want to wave to your kids, go ahead. Feel free. You turn them off. They keep it straight. Good job, Amin. Bye. Bye. Michael didn't go canes. <laughs> Good job, Mara. Good job. Good job, kids. Good job, kids. Good job, Amin. Love you, Mara. Where to go, Aiden? Good job, Mara. Bye, Mara. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Amin. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. It was good to join you. Okay. Bye, Amira. Bye, bro. Let's go, Amira. Bye. Thank you, Miss Cornelius and Mr. Petridis. Vamos a la dollar store a comprar las cositas. Sí, a devolver dinero. Sí, de verdad.